looks like Kelly Rowland is over being in Beyonce's shadow, and she is allegedly coming for people who treat her like she's not as important as Beyonce. Has Kelly really had it with living in Beyonce's shadow? How did Beyonce respond to this? Let's break it down. Y'all, Kelly Rowland took the internet by storm when she allegedly stormed out of the set of today's show after she was supposed to co-host the fourth hour of the morning show with Oda Cole. Now quick secret now, since kelly herself hasn't come out to say anything about why she stormed off people have been speculating as to what might have gone down according to tmz kelly arrived at the today show set already in full glam just before 8 a.m but when she was shown to her dressing room she was not here for it she and her team reportedly started complaining about the dressing from the jump and according to tmz even the staff of the today show also admitted that their dressing rooms were notoriously dumpy glorified closets tmz reported that kelly and her team were quite upset and asked who had the dressing room upstairs. They were told that the room was taken by J-Lo and were then offered a few options. But Kelly and her team did not like any of them. Seven minutes before air, they said, we're gonna leave and dipped. This was the news that started spreading, but insiders are now saying the real reason is not what was being reported. We're hearing the real reason Kelly walked off set is because she was done with being bombarded with questions about Beyonce when she was here to promote her own project. If y'all don't know, Kelly is playing the lead in Tyler Perry's new Netflix movie, Mea Culpa, and she has been on the promotional tour. Let's just say, more than once, the interviews have somehow derailed into questions about Beyonce and Kelly is allegedly not having it. On that particular day, though, before she was supposed to join Hoda to co-host, she had appeared in an earlier hour of the Today Show and was interviewed by Savannah Guthrie. According to The Wrap, that is when things reportedly went downhill. Kelly was upset about Savannah's aggressive questioning about Beyonce, an insider told The Wrap. She and her team were not happy and felt disrespected. I'm sure y'all know that Beyonce has been taking the country music world by storm with her hit single, Texas Hold'em. So Savannah asked Kelly for a comment on the song. While Kelly answered saying she was proud of Beyonce, the fans couldn't help but notice she looked uncomfortable with the question. You guys literally grew up together. She's stepping into country. I'm so proud of were, her. I know, but were you surprised? And what do you think about it? I'm so proud of her. Yeah. I'm so happy for her. Yeah, she, it's incredible. Yes. That wasn't all. Inside sources also told the rap that Kelly's team were very specific about not wanting Kelly to be asked any questions relating to Beyonce and their former girl group, saying she wanted Beyonce and Destiny's Child to be left out of the conversation. The story was spun that Kelly didn't like her dressing room, but she has been on the Today Show numerous times. She and her team know the dressing room setup. That would not come as a surprise at all. The insider concluded, Kelly Rowland storming off became a whole thing and Rita Ora had to step in at the last minute to fill the empty co-host spot. But here's the thing, this is not the first time that Kelly has declined questions regarding Beyonce. In fact, during the promotional tour for Mea Culpa, Kelly shot down some questions about Beyonce on a radio show. According to Page Six, Kelly Rowland refused to answer any questions about her longtime bestie Beyonce's new music. This is the during an interview about her latest movie. Kelly appeared on The Big Tigger Morning Show with Jazzy McBee to promote her new Netflix film, Mea Culpa. But while Kelly was answering questions about the movie, it seemed like the radio host quickly wanted to slide a few questions about Beyonce's new music into the conversation, and Kelly did not waste time shutting it down. Uh, and then there's a rumor going around that Renaissance 3 may be either rock-based or a DC reunion. That is her business to talk about. <laughs> They talked about several topics from Valentine's Day to Mea Culpa, but then the questions dived to Beyonce and Kelly quickly told the host that those questions did not concern her and that if he really wanted to know the answer to those questions, he should ask Beyonce herself. Fellas, I'm like, okay, is this really going to happen? Well, we still gotta ask every time we see either you. We never see Britney, come on. No, but just ask them. I'm here talking about Mea Culpa. Okay, I'm February 23rd, and that's what I'm most excited about right now. I think that Y'all know that when Destiny's Child was still active, Beyonce mostly sang lead and was always the one shining out of the three of them. Well, the fans speculated that it was because Destiny's Child was managed by Beyonce's dad, so he made sure his daughter shined the brightest. This was even confirmed by an R&B singer who was part of the group called Next. The group wanted to do a song with Destiny's Child, and they wanted Kelly to sing lead on the song, but when they brought the idea up to Matthew Knowles, Destiny's Child's manager, he said he didn't think it was a good idea. And that's not all. Kelly herself also revealed that she was jealous of Beyonce at some point. According to US Weekly, Kelly released a song titled Dirty Laundry, where she revealed she was angry angry and jealous of Beyonce. In one line of the song, she says, when my sister was on stage killing it like a mother, I was in rage feeling it like a motherfucker. 
While Kelly hasn't commented on all the speculations, the fans could not stop talking about it. One fan said, Why can't both women shine? Kelly is very unproblematic and is very comfortable in her lane. Why look for trouble? I swear, we are our own problem in this world. Kelly is definitely no second fiddle to Beyonce. She's definitely light that shines. That's why she's still relevant after over 20 years.